Flood concerns in St. Joseph continue to rise. Christina Medina just got back from a meeting there where residents are waiting and hoping. Christina? Mark, there were several hundred people at tonight's meeting. Officials couldn't give definite answers about how much flooding could happen. All they could say is, we'll have to wait and see. If you look down there where that wall is, down by that, what little bit of beach is left. Jerry Hill, who lives close to Lake Contrary, says he has never seen the water this high. I'm scared to death, not just for myself, but for all these other families with their pets, their families, as well as their homes. What's the likelihood that the river can overtake a tray creek and back it up? Yeah, I said the levees are fine. And that's the same fear for so many in St. Joseph. Tonight, hundreds packed into a church gym hoping to get some of their concerns answered. Again, I, I want to stress that the Corps of Engineers did follow their ma the, the manual. Uh, things were operating where they were supposed to be. It was this historic release uh, or this historic precipitation event uh, that has put us where we're at today. <laughs> who work and live close to the water. They want to make sure they're safe. My main concern is I don't want one person to lose a life if they don't have to. The Corps says they expect to see flooding hit this area later this week. We anticipate that there's going to be some, some flooding of the lowlands near the, uh, near the Highway 136 bridge. Um, that's going to happen roughly when the, the the elevations get to the 27 foot stage at the St. Joe gauge. Well, this town waits to see what will happen next. People like Jerry Hill say, I got family here. I'm engaged to get married. She lives here. Her family lives here. I'm going to stay by her side. No matter how high the water rises, they'll get through this somehow. There are already a few riverfront parks and areas closed tonight. If the flooding hits later this week as expected, officials could consider starting some evacuations. Christina Medina, NBC Action News.